Our choice of soils to healthily cultivate our tree in this confined environment is another big discussion to be had in bonsai. However, we can make it very simple. The mixture of akadama, pumice, and lava creates a perfect environment in the shallow container for our bonsai to thrive. Now, when we look at these different elements, they serve different purposes inside of the container. Let's dig a little bit deeper and just take a look at what akadama, pumice, and lava are, where they come from, and what they do. Outside of Japan, houseplants are commonly cultivated in garden soil or potting soil, and this is a heavy organic mixture. But when we put that plant into a shallow environment like the bonsai container, we need some different dynamics happening inside of the soil environment. The availability of oxygen, the capacity for the soil to not break down, and the ability for nutrients, water, and oxygen to all be held in balance is an imperative aspect of cultivating healthy bonsai. Akadama is a uniquely structured clay, different from what we experience in North America and definitively unique to the island of Japan. It has the ability to hold nutrition as well as hold its structure so it doesn't break down inside of the bonsai container. It is our primary resource to be able to hold the nutrients that the tree needs to grow and thrive. Pumice is a volcanic material that has a really high level of porosity. It holds water readily, but it also gives that water back to the tree when the tree needs it and is thirsty. Pumice is an imperative part of our soil system, and it does not break down inside of the containerized environment, which makes it ideal and necessary for our tree to thrive. Lava is another volcanic particle, but it differs from pumice in that instead of holding water, lava allows oxygen to freely move through the container. It doesn't break down, preserves the structure, and with that added element of oxygen is another great amendment that rounds out our soil structure and gives us that akadama, pumice, and lava mixture that allows our tree to thrive. The proportions that we create in terms of the use of akadama, pumice, and lava differ species to species. But for most conifers, one part akadama, one part pumice, and one part lava allows us to have nutrition held in the container, water available to the plant, and oxygen freely circulating around the root system. This 1-1-1 mix will always be a solid choice for you to begin your bonsai journey and create the environment that allows your tree to be healthy. If you want to dig deeper into the science behind soils as it applies to bonsai, start your free trial of Mirai Live at live.bonsaimirai.com. Our soil video in the library will educate you on proportion, particle type, and particle size that will set your tree up for success and give you the best chance of cultivating a healthy tree and enjoying it for the years to come. Now that we fundamentally understand the nuances of the soils we'll use in bonsai cultivation, you have the tools to be able to go out, find those resources, and apply them to your own repotting practices. Enjoy, good luck, and happy repotting.